What is going on, guys? Your boy Joe Shakes 72 coming to you guys with a video right now. I want to go over some Julio Jones news. Obviously, we saw a picture of Julio Jones like a day or two ago. Um, there was a leaked picture of him in the mall or something like that. He was shopping and he had um, someone, a fan took a picture with him and he had a Dallas Cowboys hoodie on. I don't know if that was photoshopped or whatnot, what's going on. So, pretty much taken from that, you know, Skip and Shannon had on Undisputed, they had a segment on Julio Jones going to the Dallas Cowboys. Obviously, Skip Bayless was very happy about it. Um, so, what the funny thing about this whole thing was yesterday is that um, Shannon Sharp actually called Julio Jones while they were still on set, while they were on live national television, which I thought it was so cool. It's just so like it's never I've never seen this happen before. So what happened was called him up um, and pretty much asked Julio Jones, uh, are you out of there? You know, are you, are you out of Atlanta? He says, I'm out of here. So it sounds like Julio Jones is going to get traded, but we don't know where he's going to go. So obviously, I'm in front of Skip because Skip was like so giddy and excited uh, to find out that maybe he'll become a Dallas Cowboys. He's like, I want to go to a winner. Um, so Shannon asked, <laughs> is he going to, are you, you know, would you go to the Dallas Cowboys? He said, and I forgot what he said, but. Um, you know, he said no or something. He's like, I'm going to a winner. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, it was funny. It kind of shut Skip Bayless up a little bit, but I thought it was hilarious. Um, it just makes no sense for, for Julio Jones to come to the Cowboys just because they're already loaded right now at wide receiver. It just makes no sense to me at all. Now, it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, look, there's only certain teams that he's going to be able to go to. Look, if Kansas City went after him, or you know, l luckily uh, there's teams out there that are pretty loaded. So adding Julio Jones, obviously he's not going to be a backup to a roster he's not going to be a third down receiver for a roster he's going to be a full-time starter for a roster and obviously with a contract on him as well so um for the Philadelphia Eagles, I do not know. Like, this would probably be the most surprising move that we made if this is actually a move, if the, if the Eagles actually gave the Falcons a phone call. Because just think about it. Would Julio Jones want to come to Philly? Kind of weird, but we're facing the Falcons week one. So, obviously, Julio Jones is not happy in Atlanta and – you know, the owner said, you know, uh, of the Falcons said they weren't going to trade him at one point, but obviously they've been taking phone calls, but they haven't pulled the trigger on anything. So they really have been interested to trade him, but maybe things have changed. Maybe Julio has spoke to his agent. His agent has spoke out a little bit, um, and maybe they're granting him his wish and obviously finding the right suitor. So really, it's not up to him. It's really up to, you know, what Atlanta will do and who they want to trade with. Now, there is a speculated trade right now from the for the Philadelphia Eagles um, that's out right right now and it's just a speculated that there's you know take it with a grain of salt nothing crazy so in the end if you want to trade for julio jones the eagles would trade what um a 2022 first round pick uh for julio jones and a 2023 six round pick i think that's kind of i think they're going to ask for more i don't think giving up one first round pick for julio jones is going to get it done you know a couple mid-round picks with it something like that i have no idea but i'd be very surprised i mean this eagles wide receiver room you just drafted Devontae smith jalen rager's on your roster and you have a lot of short-term success receivers in greg ward and travis Fulgham. Um, you know, I mean, you have a, you have a lot of guys, John Hightower. There's so many guys on this roster right now that have the short term success. Trevon Grimes, an undrafted guy that's got a big chip on his shoulder. I mean, look, I mean, yeah, is Julio Jones would come in and, and you know, elevate this offense 100 percent. I mean, definitely um, already you see on the screen above me. Uh, Darius Slay is already starting the recruitment process of Julio Jones, you know, already saying for Julio to come to the Eagles. You know what I mean? So I, I don't think it's up to him. I think it's really up to Atlanta unless they're respecting Julio Jones and where he wants to go and kind of giving him the, you know, obviously the let, letting, you know, Julio give them the leeway of where, you know, he wants to be traded at. I don't know. But, you know, I've heard some Patriots rumors, but obviously they're not, I don't think they're going to be a contender this year. I mean, they signed a good amount of free agents and they got some, you know, they, their, their roster is a lot better than last year offensively and defensively, but it's not really saying that much because they really, you know, at quarterback with Cam Newton, you never know what you're going to get with Mac Jones that they drafted. Um, so there's a lot that really goes into this, but for the Eagles, if this actually happened, I'd probably be so surprised and kind of, you know, I really want to give these other receivers a chance, you know, 
I don't know how old Julio Jones is. I have no idea. He's got to be over 30, 30 or over that age as of right now, obviously. But, um, you know, how many more years does he have left? And how much is his contract unless he's a free agent after one more year? I don't know what is. I haven't looked at his contract or anything, but just want to go over this news. This this move really wouldn't make any sense. I think you got to, you got to, you know, let these young guys develop. Um, and I think that's what you got to do here because at the end of the day, we're, we're kind of rebuilding. Um, I think this offense is going to be great going into this year. But, I mean, to add him to the roster, that's only going to take someone else off this roster that could go to another team and be very successful. That's what I don't want to happen. I think you have a lot of receivers, like I said before, has a lot of short-term success. You know, John Hightower, short-term success. Travis Olgum, short-term success. The veteran favoritism over the young guys has affected this team. That's why we have so many unknowns at certain positions for this team because every time a player gets hot, they were benched and uh, it wasn't right. And this is why, you know, the only good thing we could take out of this wide receiver room right now is, is a lot of these guys have had starting experience. John Hightower, Quez Watkins, you know, Greg Ward, a lot of these guys have had starting experience, have been on the field before. So it's not like they've never been in an NFL game and they just play and they just played special teams or something like that. So, I mean, this move would surprise me. Do I agree setting a first round pick unless they want to win right now? I don't know if that's the case. You still got some cap space to free up um, as of June 1st. And obviously, you know, we need a cornerback right now. So there's a lot really going for this. I don't know how much, you know, Julio Jones's contract is, but I guess we'll figure it out when the time comes, but it should be interesting. Um, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I thought this was hilarious. Watch, I watched the video probably three or four times. I thought it was great. But other than that, I'll see you guys later. Shakes go up, follows five. Peace out, guys. Peace.